for psychology students, let's explore another way to define abnormality. Deviation from ideal mental health. Now, this definition focuses on what's missing from someone's mental health. Instead of saying what's wrong, it asks what's absent. Marie Jehoda outlined six key qualities for ideal mental health. If someone lacks these, it could mean they're not functioning at their best. So let's take a look at them. Now, the first one is positive self attitudes, and this means feeling good about yourself and your identity. The second one is self actualization, so, in other words, growing and reaching your full potential. Three is autonomy, meaning being independent and making your own decisions. Four is resistance to stress, so coping effectively and staying stable under pressure. Five is accurate perception of reality, which is essentially seeing the world clearly and realistically. And then six is environmental mastery, so managing life's demands and adapting to change. So according to this definition, if these qualities are absent, someone might be considered abnormal. You should obviously consider